I'm glad you're still with me and not falling asleep. <laughs> it looks like they've not wandered off yet. I'm sure they will soon. Then you'll be able to go if you like. In the meantime, do you think you'd like to hear another story? Well, let's see. Oh, yes. How about a story from way back when everything just started? We've all lost loved ones since this started. Some right away. Others as we've moved forward. It really hurts. It always does. I don't think anyone's ever ready to lose a loved one. But they generally get to go knowing how we feel. No matter how bad it feels. No, it could always be worse. Jennifer, after jogging, had received a letter. It was from her longtime boyfriend, Brian, and she decided to show her mother. Jen, do you know what tonight's about? Yeah, a dinner date? No, honey, he's gonna ask you to marry him. What? No way. He's just being sweet. I just don't see him being that traditional. He's never serious enough for a romantic proposal. No, listen, Jenny, it's your two-year anniversary. He wants to have a dinner date in the same place you first went out together, and he said he had something special. Okay, it does sound like that, but really? Trust me, he's gonna give you a ring and ask you to marry him. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's going to propose. Oh my god, he's going to propose. Of course he is. Needless to say, she was really excited. It's been really nice tonight. It's sweet of you to remember our anniversary. Jenny, do you mind standing up for a minute? Oh my god. Jennifer Riley. Yes? I bought you something. <laughs> damn it, Brian. God damn it. Stupid asshole. Meanwhile, just a little ways down the street, something horrible was happening. <laughs> Wait, what were you expecting? You never stop joking. Why tonight? <laughs> This wasn't funny. Brian was always joking so much. She had anticipated a proposal. Wait! This, what seemed like a joke, made her very upset. Why'd you do that? Look out! Oh my god. Don't move, we're gonna get help. <laughs> We got your bear back. Try not to drop him this time. Never mind, just stay still. <sighs> I love you, Jenny. Oh God. <laughs> As she noticed the chaos down the street, she grabbed the bear and had no other choice but to flee. Jennifer had managed to find her mother and they had held together for a couple of days until her mother had succumbed to grave injuries. <laughs> As she needed a reminder of love, she pulled out the teddy bear and this is when she noticed the Velcro in the back. What? She noticed the ring falling. She was upset at herself. 
and as she threw the teddy, it started to play something. You put up with me for two years now, but no I'm a goofball who can't stop making jokes. But you've taken them with grace, and I love you all the more for it. Denny, will you marry me? <laughs> He left this world in a way few of us had the luxury of going these days. This is to say, almost instantly, and without too much suffering. Small consolation for the woman left weighed down by guilt. I can't say what drives her to continue forward these days, but you can still see how the light has faded from her eyes. I could only hope that she'd find happiness again. Eventually. <laughs>